Hello and welcome to the fourth MA app developing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a high score and save the scores in your game. You're going to create a single view application and you're going to add a new file, a new XIV file, which I already showed you in my other tutorials. You click here, new file. You have your controller subclass and name the type of file you want. I'm just going to put cancel because I have already created. In the view controller.xiv, we're just going to simply insert a label called main menu on the bottom that's a star. And right here, we're just going to implement one IP action. Now we're going to go to view controller.hem where we're going to put this code right here that it's play arena asterisk second. Terry Irina Alloc, in it with NIV name Neil, bundle Neil, self percent model view controller, second anime. 1630. So here we're going to click on our right here. And coding done right here, you can put pause at any time to see the code, and you can also check the description. Now we're going to go to playarena.xiv. Right here, we're going to do many things. We're going to insert a label, which we're going to delete all the text, make it a little big, increase the font size, save. What else are we going to do? We're going to insert a view. Kind of like this. We're going to change this background to some green color and we're going to paste this label and put it right here. Now we're going to insert another label saying your score was and delete the label right here. Insert two text fields. Copy this label, paste it right here. Last score. So what will this be doing? It will be showing you the score you made right now and your previous score. You save this and you're going to start your coding. I have here a code book and I'm just going to copy everything I have here I'm going to write it here. So here's the code. We're going to state an IP outlet. You have a label named the score, that's this one right there. And then an NNS timer and an int. Now the IP action repeat is going to be a button, a round red button. which is going to repeat your game and make it go again. Also, we're going to create some outlets right here. We're going to create two text field outlets. And we're going to name it actual score. And we're going to create another IP outlet and we're going to name it is also a text field last score. We also need to create another IP outlet for our button. No, I'm sorry. Don't create for a button, just create an IP outlet or a view, UA view. Alert. Now we're going to link everything, actual score, last score, and the view. We save this, and we're going to go to playarena.hem, where we're going to implement the following code. We can delete everything right here, and paste this code that we will be in the description as well.
Let me just tweak this code a little bit. Perfect. So, what are we going to do? We're seeing here that it, we have a void count up, which it will be our label here, and it says int plus equals one, square text equals another string, the string with format, int. These all will be in the description, or you can stop the video right now. In the void we did load, we also want to implement a few more things. You want to view, I'm sorry, alert, set hidden, yes, in the void we did load. And right here we're going to create a, bu a stop button. This button is going to stop your game. So for example, if you're making a game that when your player gets shoot, that will be the stop button right here. We're going to create the action for the stop button right here, IV action. I'm going to name it stop. And it's going to say just alert, set hidden, no. And we're also going to say that timer one invalidate. This is timer, I'm really sorry. We save this and we got our code. Now we're going to introduce our stop action in the viewcontrol.m stop. No need for IV sender, just saying that it sends a direction to other place. And I believe we got our cut right now. Let's test it to see what we are missing. Oh yeah, we're missing one small thing. Here we also need to put actual score. Dot text equals equals and as string. string with format of course and we're just going to put the same code as we have above comma int we save this Let's just delete this right here, copy this, and paste it. We save this, and now we have our code. We got our star, we go right here, and we see that this is incrementing by one interval. What does the stop does? Invalidate this and show this. The repeat action we haven't configured it as well. So what are we going to do? We're going to put and we already have the IP action repeat. We're going to put one more thing. We're going to go to vcontrol.xiv, copy the code in vcontrol.hem and paste it in play arena dot hem to the IV action repeat. We save this and we run.
So here is the application itself. You're going to open it. It's going to be your main menu of your game. You can have any nice, funny picture, whatever, for your game. And when you click start, the timer will start. For example, you're a man here, and people are shooting you, and this is the amount of time you survive. Okay? Clicking stop is like you get shot or you die, for example. And it shows your score right here. You click repeat, and it starts again. You click stop and it shows you your score. So you quit this. In void you did load, you want to put right here last score. It was a common mistake I made. Last score. You save and now we run. Now we're going to show you the last score so you have one two three you click on stop you die you lose it says your score four repeat let's make it a seven this time so we have seven as a score so stop your score was seven then you can pass this data to another view and you would show everything you want to know Right here, you need to change to actual score as well. Save this and run again. Main menu, star. You can make as well the timer faster. Let's make it a 3. Your score was 3. Repeat. Let's make it a 2. Stop. Your score was 2. Your last score was 3. To make the timer faster, you just change here the time interval. I prefer 0 0.01 for my timer. That will make the score go faster. Stop, 17, last score was 3. We repeat, 16, last score was 17. Thank you for watching our tutorials. And remember, we stream 3 tutorials a week, more than any tutorial person, you know. And thank you for watching.